In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a feature called Action Bar inside of Presto Player, which enables you to do several things. Number one, you can use it to add a YouTube subscribe bar underneath the video, or you could add any call to action underneath a video, and it can also appear at a specific time in the video that you choose. Let me show you. So here it is, the YouTube subscribe bar, which will have a custom message that you write as well as a subscribe button to your channel. Now, if you're a blogger and you put videos from other channels in, this call to action can go and this subscribe button can go to just your channel, not the source of the video. And this one's even cooler. So this is a timed call to action. So when I click play on the video, I have it set to appear after I push play 1% into the video and there you see now this has customized colors as well as a custom call to action and a button that will take the watcher where I want them to go. That's really cool, right? If you want to increase subscribers as well as increase action taking on your offers, this feature is going to help you with that. Let me show you how to set this up. First, I'll show you how to add that subscriber bar. Now it's going to require that you get the channel ID from your YouTube channel or the YouTube channel you want to drive subscriptions to. And there's a new setting inside of the settings panel. So when I go to Presto Player and click on settings, then click on integrations and scroll down a bit, right here is where you're going to paste in your channel ID. If you are not sure how to get this, it's very simple. You can click on this link and it's going to show you where to find your channel ID. Then go ahead and click save changes. Now if you don't have this channel ID in there, it's not going to show that YouTube subscribe bar. Now here I am in a brand new blog post and I'll go ahead and add a Presto video. This will be for YouTube. So I'm going to click on slash and there it is Presto YouTube video. I'll choose that and I'll paste my YouTube URL in. Of course, this will work with all of your video sources. So I'll go ahead and click on add video and there is my video and off to the right panel, we have our options. Now this feature is found in presets. So let me go ahead and click on add new preset to show it to you. I always like to click on style first and round out the corners so you can see what that looks like there. All right, here is the new option, action bar. And when we click on it, then we enable the action bar. Now the first option is when do you want the action bar to display? If you leave this on zero, it will display before the watcher clicks on the play button. Next is your custom message right here. Could be whatever you want. We have the background color option and then we have the button option. So a custom button is as you see here, it'll go wherever you want them to go and you can customize the button text. However, if you want to do the YouTube subscribe bar, you would choose YouTube subscribe and there it is. And there's this toggle option here if you wanted to show a subscriber count. So you toggle this on and there it shows. And lastly, you don't have to show a button. You could just choose none and it will just be your message, your text based message right there. And when you have that custom button right here is your text for it and the option here to change the color of that button as well as round out the corners. This new action bar feature is perfect if you do have a YouTube channel and want to drive subscriptions or if you're a marketer and you want to have a timed call to action to maybe a buy page or a purchase page for an offer that you're making or if you have lots of videos on your say blog and they're all tied to a preset, you can add a custom call to action to maybe a free course that you're offering or some kind of offer that you have that would pertain to someone watching that video. The opportunities and uses for this are endless. I can't see, wait to see what you do with this brand new action bar. And I'd love to hear how you plan on using it in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video.